tell about yourself name yeah first of all thank you for giving this opportunity to introduce myself my name is yash ambassad i am currently staying in hyderabad mm -hmm. abhp uh, i did my graduation in kkr and kesar in soft technology and sciences and rasima of electronics and communication engineering mm -hmm. i have secured with 7 cgpa and my ssc completed in jilla basit high school in karmanji have secured with 7 7.8 cgpa i am technically strong in c python sql and manual testing in manual testing i have good knowledge in sdlc and stlc and defect life cycle mm -hmm. and i have knowledge in um, regression testing retesting and smoke testing and uh, sanity testing mm -hmm. and my sensor i have work uh, at any environment mm -hmm. and i can learn new things easily i can adapt any environment okay i think you written right uh, in your resume uh good knowledge on functional integration and system testing and also good knowledge on smoke regression and compactibility testing right yes. what are the compactibility testing compactibility testing is the is one application is working another another browsers like uh, for example an email id is working on chrome firefox etc etc that's it compactibility testing yes sure yes sir okay so look tell me about the graduation project Yeah, I did my graduation project. The project name is Vehicle Vehicle Lock Automatic Vehicle Locking System. Uh, for example, in emergency times, uh, some drivers are forgotten their keys. In that times, uh, they unlock uh, that they un they unlock the engine using fingerprint and Bluetooth. Now, hmm. uh, in, uh, in this project is more useful in ambulance. For example, for uh, in emergency times, in ambulance drivers they forgot key. Mm -hmm. uh, in that time, they unlock. and they save lives okay what is the main motive of doing your project yeah unlock the engine using fingerprint and bluetooth bluetooth okay so what is the role in your project yeah i am um, hardware hardware components what hardware components what you will do the role that you had uh, you played in your graduation project yeah i said i said i, I said the connections between hardware components okay very good and uh, Uh, tell me what are the things that you are good in manual testing yeah i am i am strong in sdlc and stlc in typical life cycle tell me what are the different phases in stlc and sdlc yeah first of all the full name of stlc means software testing life cycle the phases are uh, uh, test requirement test planning test designing test execution mm -hmm. test closure activities sir mm -hmm. uh in sdlc the full name is software development cycle like it's the phases are uh uh, uh software software a uh, system system planning and uh, system defining system designing system implementation system testing mm -hmm. system maintenance what are different types in sdlc types sdlc type yeah there are six types waterfall model v model iteration model and uh, spiral model agile model big bang model what is the difference between a priority and a severity priority a uh, priority means if if one defect is is solved as soon as possible sir is that point of user point of view in crt uh, the defect uh, takes some time and affects more in applications okay uh, who will decide the severity then qa teams who will decide priority a uh, users okay uh who will involve in uat user acceptance testing first of all the meaning of uat means user acceptance testing uh, here user uh, here qa team act as user in it user user we test the application is that application is working or not that's my have your question uh, attempt to answer sheets okay and tell me i have one hundred test cases in application i have hundred test cases okay under these hundred test cases i want to do regression regression okay under these hundred test cases i want to perform regression what type of test case will consider this upon this 100 uh, in regression testing what test uh, in some codes are added where we can test that uh, application is affected or not okay but uh, what type of test case will do con to will consider to do regression a uh, e equivalent partition test equivalent partition test case will do to do regression yes sir what is different between regression and equivalent partitioning a uh, equivalent partition means in more test cases we can we can divide we can divide some parts 
in the in that type of, in that parts we can test sir okay regression means uh, if one application hmm? if one application has new features are added is that query is affected or not we can use regression test okay can you draw the diagram of defect life cycle What not accepted? I didn't get that. Yeah, is there one one defect ac acceptance? Uh, the developer is fixed and the retest the QA team. Uh, you written right after closed we have rejected or rejected after we have closed. What sir? After rejected we have closed or to after closed we have rejected. Rejected after closed. After rejected only we have closed or after closed only we have rejected. After closed, after reject, huh? first we rejected, then closed, sir. Closed the dip. But what you written? See the title. What is the difference between regression testing and retesting? Uh, retesting means once developer is fixed the defect, the QA team will re will retest the defect. Mm -hmm. And regression means if any code changes in the application, in that. Uh, uh, do, uh, is there any effect about in code in side affected in that application? Will we do regression test? So okay, which one is preferred for you, retesting or regression testing? Uh, in both, first of all, we do regression testing uh, before we do retesting, sir. No, no. First, in, what do we, we do? We do regression testing first. We do retesting. First, we retesting will do or regression will do? Retest. Retest. Yes. Which one is priority for you? Retesting or regression testing? Retesting. So, as an easy uh, point of view, why you are coming into uh, IT sector? Yeah, I am interested in IT sector. If you are interested, you will choose a career in CSA only, right? Then why you choose a career in TEC? Uh, in IT field, there is also um, more opportunities there, sir. Mm -hmm. And that's why I am choosing IT. Okay, what is the difference between capacitor and insulator? Easy only, right? Yes. What difference between insulator and capacitor? No, no needs. You have control systems, right? Yes. Sir. What is the difference between positive feedback and negative feedback? Channel I don't have words. We have written, you get 7 percentage, not easy. I'm asking you about basic things only, right? What is the difference between an AC current and DC current? AC means alternate Don't current. tell that alternate current and direct current. I don't, I want the difference between them. I found this. Is there AC working on AC current or DC current? AC currents. Then what are the applications that are working on DC current? Um, mobile phones. Mobiles working on DC current? Yes, yeah, sir. Give me example of a rectifier. Okay. Do that. And uh, what are the different between system test, system designing and test designing? Sorry, sir. System designing and test designing. Test designing. Here, test designing, we write the test cases. Mm -hmm. uh, test scenarios and test cases. Mm -hmm. uh, when it has a system defined. Yes. Uh, here, here. Test, test design. Ah, okay. T system defined. Yeah. Here, test define and system defining, we choose the platform, sir. In which platform we develop the application. What is different between waterfall model and an agile model? A waterfall model, we, we, we don't have any back processor. In Azure model, we have back process and we add new requirements, sir. Okay. That's it from Sham. Do you have any questions? What about my performance? Rate yourself. How you perform? Good, bad, average, below average, more than average. How we feel about your response itself? Okay, not an issue then. Okay, you can leave. Thank you. I think I've given your paper side and given yes. right. Take your paper. Thanks. Thank you. Can I use? Yeah, you can.